Hurricane Florence and Hurricane Michael struck our east coast in rapid succession. Their impact ran from northwest Florida through North Carolina. Somebody Cares with our network of partners prepared as each storm headed to shore and responded to the people in need as soon as the tropical storms passed. Teams rolled in to provide hot meals, distribute cleaning and hygiene supplies, and help clean homes and churches from debris and muck. Along with the physical supplies, Somebody Cares also distributed thousands of dollars worth of gift cards through our local church partners to meet specific needs of families. Hurricane Florence wielded its devastation in slow motion, inundating the Carolinas for days on end. 36 inches of torrential rains caused rivers to breach their banks and flood areas even weeks after the initial landfall. Sadly, many families and communities in the affected areas were still recovering from Hurricane Matthew two years prior. Hurricane Michael decimated more than 60% of the affected area's homes in northern Florida. Mexico Beach and parts of Panama City look like a war zone. With many local businesses still closed, now more than seven weeks later, some newly unemployed survivors do not have reliable income to meet the challenges of the aftermath. The emotional and spiritual toll of it can be worse than the physical destruction. Florence was a storm that I never thought was going to stop. Like it just kept raining and raining and raining. You know, I was traumatized and I was tired from that. We can get the smallest rainstorm and I'm telling my husband, he needs to come home because I'm scared. Even just a little bit of rain, like I, I was traumatized and then this happened. By supporting outreach efforts of the local church in devastated communities, providing both physical aid as well as prayer and crisis chaplaincy, Somebody Cares helps address the full impact of a natural disaster. Well, you're overwhelmed, you're thinking about all that needs to be done, all that you've done, I mean, the, the financial aspect of that, and you just feel isolated. I mean, you just feel so overwhelmed. And when somebody comes up and says, hey, I just want you to know somebody does care, those words, it was, it was, it breathed life into us in that moment. And it really gave us a little bit to go, okay, God's got this. The poorest are always disproportionately affected by the aftermath of disasters. Our community had still not fully recovered from Matthew. And Florence came and the levees filled up and the rivers overflowed and back into the houses, the water came. And <clears throat> as much of a gut-wrenching just exhaustion and kind of sense of like, how are we going to deal with this again, is kind of what everybody felt. The long lasting effects that we have in this community um, are that people are displaced, that jobs have been lost, that businesses have gone out, that um, the housing market has plummeted, that their house still abandoned, that because they got so flooded that um, I mean, you could even drive around in certain areas and still smell the floodwaters. Recovery from Florence and Michael didn't end when the power came back on. As the media quickly moved on to the next sensational story, Somebody Cares continued, and still continues, to stand with the churches who were left alone to help people in their community by providing disaster relief and recovery efforts. Because of wonderful partners and faithful donor friends, families and communities hit by these hurricanes know that somebody cares and his name is Jesus. The needs are still great and we continue to support the recovery efforts for as long as God enables us. Join us in prayer and deed, giving thanks to God for all of his provisions. We dried ourselves off, we sucked the water out of the building and we waited for the sun to rise again and to God to really show up, and He showed up. He showed up in big ways. 